Hey everyone, good morning, welcome to Friday. It is super awesome to be with you for those of you who are about to join us live, good morning. And for those of you who are catching the recording, hey, lovely to have you here. So what I, I really love about Fridays is it's kind of my opportunity, I suppose, to kind of really bring a, like kind of bookend the end of the week. So the reason that I think this is really important is that we often, as high achievers and very driven individuals, get really caught up in the, oh, I'm not there yet, or oh, I didn't hit that target, or oh, I, I didn't do this, that, and the other, or you know what, I tried that and it didn't work, and we become really adept at beating ourselves up. So Fridays for, for me personally and, and what I want you know would love for you guys to really embrace is this whole thing around really making sure that you're celebrating and acknowledging whatever your wins have been this week. Now, it could be something that feels really big. It could be something that's really small. It doesn't really matter. So my celebrations this week that I wanted to share with you are that I had a really awesome training. I was away for a training last week uh, in the US and I did a little bit of work while I was away and it was just so great to, and I always find this actually, it's, it's, it's always so great for me to be outside of my normal kind of environment and um, getting the opportunity and the chance to be fully immersed into a training. So I, I set up, I had all by a lot of Facebook posts scheduled. You would have noticed that I haven't been live anywhere near as much because I just find that I really need the, the kind of, the, the, it's almost like a really clear container of time to really be able to immerse myself in whatever it is that I'm learning and what it is that I'm doing. So that was a really awesome, huge celebration. Um, the other, another celebration is I'm home and it's not freaking, you know, zero degrees overnight. You know, so it's been really nice to come home. I still need a beanie and, a, and my puffer jacket, but it's not quite as freezing cold. So um, they're kind of like my celebrations this week. They, they might not seem, um, like the groundbreakingly massive, but it, oh, it, it's been really great. And another thing, you know, I've had a really freaking awesome month. We've had some amazing new clients come on board. The energy just feels like it's really up and, and I'm really loving what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm continuing to celebrate that, uh, which is really great. So as you're joining in, uh, let me know what you're celebrating. Let me know what it is that's been really awesome for you over the course of this last week. My insights this week have been, uh, that there have been a lot of insights this week. Um, so I've done, I, I've done a lot of energy training, like certifications and things over the past, uh, probably the last three or four years. And it, it's always um, a really great reminder, and this is kind of my insight from the, off the back of the last, uh, the last week, is the absolute sheer importance of, of energy working along with your like your conscious mind, your unconscious mind, and and clearing the path for things to really uh, like clearing the blockages, I suppose, in order for things to be able to really flow kind of really easily and things like that. So, one of the big insights that I really took away that I wanted to share with you is. You know, I'm I'm generally really great at following a system or following structure and instructions. So if I get told to do something, it's like, yeah, okay, great. I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and it's it's no problem at all. You might be the same. And what I I saw happening in the training room is that people were saying, oh, do I really need to do things this this way, or can I do it another way? And the trainer said, well, actually, I've already developed the hack. So don't try to hack the hack, right? Which I thought was like, oh my gosh, as humans, we try and do this all the time, right? It's like we, we, we either invest to learn from someone, whether it's by a book or a webinar or like investing time or money, whatever it is that we're doing. And usually what we're doing, and I know I've been, I've been totally guilty of this in the past, you know, we were often looking for ways, hey Sandra, good morning, welcome to Friday. Lovely to have you on here. Um, it's kind of like the, the, that we're looking for other ways of shortcutting the process. And 
I think one of the things that we, we kind of fail to realize uh, uh, along the way is that often, and I hope the trainers have done the right thing here, you know, it's we, we're paying or investing our time, money, and energy to learn from someone who should already be sharing with us the shortcuts that they have learned, right? So I guess, and this really explains a big reason why so many people don't get results because they're, they're looking for a shorter way of implementing, they're looking for a, a hack, but the hacks have already been developed, the hacks are already in place, hopefully, from the people that you're, that you're investing to learn from. So, you know, I've seen this play out with clients of mine. I'm like, okay, just, you know, take your, take your brain out and put it over here and just kind of like follow the structure and follow the processes. You know, I've been doing this for eight years. I, you know, I've already, if it was a shorter or quicker way to make this stuff happen, I would be telling you. So I think this was, um, it was interesting to be in a room of, you know, about 15 incredibly high achievers, ridiculously successful people who were still trying to kind of come up with ways to hack the process. So that that insight is having that uh, level of awareness that if we're learning from somebody who's already earned their stripes, then let's not hack the hacks. Right? Let's just trust the process and work the process and, and do what we need to do. Good morning, Joe. Happy Friday. So uh, that, was, that was a super big insight for me. Um, another really interesting insight. Hey, Maxine, good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, another big uh, interesting thing for me was really around what we expect and how we language what we expect. Hey, Mike. Good to see you today. I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, so I suppose like with that, it's like, so when I travel, I made the, the decision a few years ago when I travel long haul, I just kind of made the choice. It's like, well, you know what? I don't, I don't get jet lag. You know, I, I land on the other side and I'm great. I just acclimate really fast and coming home, I don't get jet lag. So that's that's just my, my belief structure. It's like, I don't get jet lag. Um, and then there are, it's, it's interesting when we have other people, good morning, Margaret, when we have other people, uh, around us saying, uh, had too many meetings, <laughs> yeah, totally get that. And it's a bit later for you cause you're in New Zealand. So, you know, I'm glad you could make it today. Happy Friday. So it's really kind of interesting how other people people and their their words their experiences their beliefs can uh like if we allow it how that can kind of uh impact us or influence or make us feel something or another so for example uh we're heading away with the family in a, in a couple of weeks and really excited to get away and like do all the things that we get to do with with uh, my husband and with the kids and my husband was like oh man, you know, it's gonna take days, like the kids are gonna to have to uh, like recalibrate. And I'm like, you know, who says that? I think we're, and, oh, and then he was like, oh, the flight's gonna be terrible. I'm like, dude, stop, you know, it's gonna be great. We're gonna sleep the whole way, we'll get there and then we'll be able to sleep that night. You know, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. So, you know, it, like that's just one example of how someone's, if you let that, if you kind of like let other people's beliefs uh, like encroach into your field, then they can impact the way that you feel and it can actually impact your experience. So I guess to wrap that up in a nice pretty little bow, the insight there is around being very discerning around what you allow into your space. So I know that there's somebody watching us this morning who's had a really kind of like, to be blunt, a really shitful experience over this last week with stupid people saying silly things, that really nasty, hurtful things and about, about them. Now I know this person's heart and I know where they come from and I know the intention that they get out there and do this stuff. And so... You know, I guess like again, like it, it's, we've got to be really careful around what we agree with. So what I mean by that, you know, if someone's saying something not particularly nice to you, about, to you or about you, 
And if there's any element of your, your being, this can happen on a really deep unconscious level, that we kind of accept and agree with that at any level, then that kind of like little cockroach will, can kind of like worm its way in and, and impact the way that we feel about things. So just make sure that you're being discerning around what you allow in, what you listen to, who you listen to, and make sure that as best you can, that the things that you're allowing in are really of a, are a, of a positive nature. And then the other part of that is if you do find that something little like insidious and, and nasty is kind of coming in into your awareness, then clean it out. You know, do the work, uh, whichever way, like if you do energy stuff, do that. If I, like, I know one of the ladies on here is a tapper, you know, I'm not going to get into the different modalities, but, but find a way to hack uh that that little cockroach and, and eradicate it out of of your whole entire awareness and the thing that the, the big thing that I want to leave you on with that is remember who you are all right remember who you are and why you're doing this and and who you are really at a very deep level because people are going to be pe people are funny right they they will make they can make you wrong they can make you right they can decide in in the the flip of a coin or the flick of a switch that you're evil and horrible and wrong and then on the other hand they can be incredibly grateful for what it is that you've done it, it's not our business what anyone else thinks of us um it, it it doesn't matter what anybody else says it's about you remembering who you are in your heart and, and holding that and really staying true to that. Now, I, I've been, you know, I've, I've been through, like I said, there's, a, there's somebody on the call today that um, has been through some a really shitty experience and I've been there, I've been through it and it hurts. I get it, it hurts. Uh, because it kind of, for me, I know when I've been through something similar, it was, it was more that my integrity was challenged and I'm like, you know what, I am so, uh, and I know that this, this person is, and I'm so particular about who I work with and, and who I allow into my space because I give my people my all. And I know that you guys probably do as well. Like they probably get your heart, your soul, your energy, you know, everything. It's just kind of like, you know, here I am, uh, you know, take what you need. And when somebody like questions that or challenges that, then it can, you know, it can really hurt because your integrity has been challenged. But the work the work around or the thing to work on around that is remembering who you are make sure that you've been doing your things for the for the right reasons did you enroll with these people for the right reasons did you did you take them on and then you need to make kind of make your peace with that okay so uh a little woo a little bit different for our friday insights and celebrations today it's been really awesome having you in here uh, if you're listening to the recording, please, you know, share your insights, share your celebrations with me this week. Uh, I, I love uh, cheering you on, you know, like, and then the other people who are watching and, and reading the comments and stuff like that, they can be like, oh, cool, I'm going to go and follow this person. They seem really awesome. So share the love in here, share your celebrations, share your insights, and let's bring this week to a really positive close, ready to crack into to next week, which I can't believe that it's already coming up to like August. It's just insane. Which means that we're on the home stretch of winter. Yes, um, loving that. So that's me. I'm waffling. Have a great and amazing day, and I will catch you guys on Monday morning for the coffee run. See ya. <laughs>